There's just no point if I can't have professional lessons. I mean, it'd be like that, Bev. You just got to get used to each other again, that's all. Maybe I don't want to get used to you again. It's charming, that, isn't it? I'd rather give up if we can't afford Chris. Overcoming nerves is the real challenge when taking your test. You need to show the examiner you're in control, so if in doubt, take as much time as you want. Can I hum? Yes, you can hum. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry. Shh. The bus didn't come, so I walked. Indicate, release the handbrake. Slowly, release the clutch. Gently. Down on the gas. Uh-huh. Now, can anyone tell me what this sign is? Bourbon Clearway. Excellent. Gosh, well done. <laughs> Top box. approach a zebra crossing, look out for people waiting to cross and be ready. And will you turn left, Beverly? Yes, I will, Mr. Examiner. I will turn left. And is it a bus lane? No, carry on. Remember, mirrors signal maneuver. Well done, Beverly. Very good. Very good. You're a very good little driver. You've got to do it this time, Bev. Let's get this show on the road. <sighs> Licorice? I prefer pear drops. Pear drops, right. <laughs> right. Listen, um... Gloria's going for her test. A few of my um, group are coming along to support her. Um, we're meeting for drinks afterwards. You want to come? Yeah. OK. Great. OK, John. I think it's time we got this car moving. I am ready, sir. Uh, we'll stay in first, so you don't have to worry about the gears. Breakdown. I left the theatre and began a stint at Crank's vegetarian restaurant, but I would not serve on the counter. It was as though I could not perform, even for a cure vegans. So I stayed behind the scenes, slicing flapjack and so on. Mm -hmm. Well, seeing as you're doing so well now, how about try and reverse? Why not? I'm on a roll. Where are you going? Um, it's a leaving do for Ukraine and Ivana. I told you about it. You look nice. Oh, thanks. Follow the road signs. Stay in the mark lines. 
You know, he nearly fell me because I was too cautious. That's right. She thought he said she failed, but she didn't hear him. Yeah, I just looked at him. I said, what on? <laughs> so he, he smiled and I said, no, Gloria, you, you've passed, not failed. You drove magnificently. And I was like, ah! <laughs> Right, uh, shall I get anyone a drink? Oh, yes, please. Uh, lemonade. Lemonade would be great. Thank you. Have a lemonade. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah. you very much. She did it! Come on! Do we eat them? No, that would be an expensive omelette. No, Alfie. No, we wait for them to hatch. <laughs> Oh, I like your new haircuts. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. More of a, um, just a uh, restyle than an actual cut. Mm. Actually makes you look like Russell Crowe. <laughs> oh, we've got seven pounds. Mm. Well, you never told me in your um, interview. Why did you leave your last job? Oh, it was uh, more a case of me wanting to leave Garvin. Garvin? Where's Garvin? Oh, it's on the, on the coast. My fiance and I split up. Oh. And she's still living there. No, no, no. She moved to Torquay mm. with her new boyfriend. Mm. It's a horrid place. Yeah, they, um, they actually bought a pub together, which is funny because she doesn't drink. So. Mm. Nightmare. My ex-husband ran a pub with his first wife. Um, absolutely horrendous. <laughs> to what? What was it happened with you? Oh, um, I wanted children, uh -huh. and he wanted to wait and concentrate on the business. And then, two weeks before my 36th birthday, he ran off with some girl. Oh. <laughs> yep. So that's a birthday I'll never forget. Yeah. Got so drunk I couldn't see and ended up on a train to Penrith. <laughs> um, actually, why Penrith? I love the Lake District. Yeah, so do I. No. Yeah, you really do, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a red camper van, yeah, I'll put my stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> then after you, it's the Grand Canyon. Is this my drink? Yes, yes, it is. It's my drink, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know why I'm crying. I just, I just don't know what I'm going to do if I, if I fail again. <sighs> Sorry, I'm really embarrassed. Prize idiot. <laughs> Well, you won't no. be failing. Bev, don't think like that. You're going to pass, Bev. We need to get back. I can do it. Now, come along. Well, it's your time. Oh, well, there we are. Yeah. Cheers. 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 How's it going with your guy? Oh, it's very early days, and I don't want to speak too soon, but I think, well, this could be the one. Well, you know him anyway. He gave you my card. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> well, don't say it like that. <laughs> what? No, no, nothing. No. Nothing. Married, is he? Is he? No, no, he's definitely not. No, Jerry's not married. No, he's definitely not married. I mean, he might be. I don't know him. I don't really know him, Fiona. Do you know what I mean? I don't really know him. Well, as I said, you know, it's it's early days. It's the honeymoon period, you know, so. Well, you know what I mean. It's, My mum used to say, if you can imagine him changing your catheter bag when you're 80, then he's the one. Yeah. <laughs>